No, no. Oh! <laughs> for fuck's sake! How do you keep beating me? You can't die, Mark, all right? It's not my fault that you just suck. In level five, mm-hmm. how do you do that reverse knee move? <sighs> it's circle, left, down, right, up. R2. I tried that. Then you just suck. You know what? Whatever, mate. I'm done. <laughs> all right. Ah, oh, come on, Mark. One more game. I'll go easy on you this time. I'll only use the baseball bat. Oh, tempting, but no. Seriously, I've had my fair share of losing tonight. Besides, it's Friday. I'm probably going to go to the pub. Ah, oh, cool. I'll come with. Lord knows I could use a pint. Or ten. Hey, wait a minute. I thought that Steve got you working Saturdays as well. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, I talked to his niece, uh, you know, just to get some extra holiday, you know, so... What? You slept with Denise again, didn't you? A little bit, yeah. Oh, for God's sake, Patrick, I didn't get Steve to give you this job just so you could spend the days off shagging his wife. Look, she keeps coming on to me. She must be one of those, you know, demon temptresses. What, you mean like a succubus? (laughs) She sucked a lot of stuff. Look, forget about it, Mog. Let's just go out and have some fun tonight, okay? All right, then, fine. Do you want to go Argentos? Mmm. I like your style. I'll bring Dimitri along as well. Dimitri! Yeah, Dimitri! Dimitri! I know Dimitri! Dimitri Rodriguez, right? Yeah, Dimitri. Yeah, he can't come. Oh, come on! What's wrong with Dimitri? Oh, well, nothing's wrong with Dimitri if you don't count the facts that he eats all our food and gets high all the time. Everybody gets high. It's the new millennium. Nobody gets high like Dimitri. I mean, it's not just weed either. Do you remember last spring, he made that weird hybrid drug out of ecstasy, angel dust, and concentrated orange juice? And he gave it that weird street name. I can't remember yeah, what it was. he called it... Life. Life. Exactly. Life. You create something like that, that can probably kill you several times over, and you call it life. I think he just wanted a way to literally get high on life. Oh, come on, let him come out tonight. I promise you won't regret it. I don't believe it. Barred from my favourite pub. Thanks a lot, Dimitri. Look, it's not like he meant for us to be kicked out. Oh, no, no, you're right, Patrick. All he did was touch up that biker's girlfriend right in front of him and then proceed to call said biker a big bold fuck, I think. But yeah, anyway, thanks for being a little mate, Mark. I'll take the punch. We appreciate it. Oh yeah, my pleasure. Dolgy was a great guy. Yeah, well mentioned. Now Mark, why you got promotion at work? Well done, my son. Especially in this economy. How'd you do it? If you don't mind me asking. Oh, well, you know, it's just a matter of showing up to work every once in a while. And between you and me, the odd shower can help tremendously. Yeah. I'm going to think your roommate doesn't like me. What? Oh, no! No, no, it's nothing like that. No, no, no. Sort of. No! In fact, he told me just last night that he wishes he could be more like you. Trust me, by the end of this evening, we'll be like brothers. What do you say, the three of us against the world, you know what I mean? Yeah, the three amigos. Now... Who says you can't get pissed at home? Which reminds me, gentlemen. This stuff is some of the most experimental shit you'll ever snort in your life. I got this fresh from North Korea. One snort of this will fuck your brain up like Inception with a strap on. Now, my dealer, he tells me I'm the only UK resident to get his hands on this. (laughs) <laughs> oh, right! This sounds good! What is it? Bath Salts. Bath Salts? That's a weird street name. No. No. You don't have a street name yet. Now, hang on a minute. We're not going to snort actual bath salts, are we? <laughs> oh, come on. You feel crazier than that. You drank detergent once. I saw a squirrel commit suicide once. Fuck it, why not? Yeah! Let's do this!
you naked? <sighs> Why are you not? I can't remember shit from last night. Hey, wait a minute. Do you feel hungover? No, why? Well, we drank our entire wit in vodka last night. But no headaches, no vomiting. Do you not find that a little bit strange? Oh, yeah, because if there's one thing I miss, it's vomiting all over my brand new furniture on a Saturday morning. You're two hours late for work. Ah! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Ah! I love having weekends off. I love so much. Why are you with that I must be dead. Oh! Hello. Yeah, what is he still doing here? Who's here? Who do you think? Get back here and get Dimitri out of my house before he starts smoking everything. I can't come home now. I've got to go to work. Work started two hours ago. Face it, you're gonna get sacked. I've got to at least try. Surely, I could say the bus broke down or something. I'm sure you've used that excuse about five times already. Well, it shows you how effective it is, isn't it? Listen, I got a run night, okay? Um, I'll speak to you later. Yeah, keep mental ten for me, would you? Patrick? Patrick? Fuck! <sighs> oh, wait. I do remember something about last night. You do? Yeah, I remember we uh, we came back, and I just really needed a shit really badly, but uh, I couldn't get in the bathroom, so I kind of made a mess of your downstairs toilet. But, Dimitri, we don't have a downstairs toilet. Where do you have a Oh. Oh. Sorry, man. Now, what can I use to make a bomb? Hey Mike, did you print out that invoice I need? Mike? Swear over here and answer me, Mike. I'm gonna nick your favourite red stapler and put it in jelly again. There you are, where have you been? <laughs> 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 I have no idea how fun this game is going to be. Hey, Mark, man, we got a part up for the Nakawina. I give up. There's nothing about snorting North Korean bath salts anywhere on the internet. So, what does that mean? That means that we're the only people idiotic enough on this entire planet to try snorting this stuff. Oh, well, worth a try. We ate lethal quantities of hygiene products last night and woke up this morning without so much as a bellyache. Doesn't that bother you in the slightest? Let it go, man. Ah, uh, I don't know. Something's not right about this. Ah, oh, Patrick! So did you get to work all right? How was your day? Well, <clears throat> your car wouldn't start. Tried to run all the way to the bus stop, but then the bus didn't show up. Tried to run all the way to work, and then, as if that wasn't bad enough, I was chased all the way home by a kind of cannibalistic madman. 
But aside from that, good game. Oh yeah, it was fine. Lovely. Now, when you say cannibalistic madmen... Well, they were cannibalistic and they were mad. And they were men. And you say they followed you all the way home? Um... Yeah. I don't want to get blood anywhere. It's a bit late for that, isn't it? I mean, the guy did just bleed all over the games room. Please, don't remind me. But that's... Are we gonna do this or what? Come on. You don't want to hurl, you're wearing a mask. Uh, uh, uh. What did he want anyway? I don't know. Why don't you just wake him up and ask? I ripped his heart out with a pool cube, Dimitri. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice one, mate. <laughs> Can't believe you killed someone. Shut up. <laughs> you murdered an innocent man. An innocent man? The guy broke into our house. Under the conditions of the law, that can pass as justifiable defence of property. Yeah, maybe in America where you're allowed to shoot somebody if they even look at you funny. Well, excuse me for panicking. I don't know if you two fuckers know it's standing in that room doing nothing to help out, but the guy tried to eat my face. Seems to be handling it fine by yourself, mate. Are you taking the piss? Hey, hey, hey. He's right. You would have just told us off for intervening. Do you remember that time that I ironed those couple of shirts for you and you threw a moody at me? Yeah, you set one of those shirts on fire. Poor Mrs. Lavender down the road had to call the fire brigade for us. Oh, poor Mrs. Lavender. Well, exactly. And what did you say to me that day? You must never, ever help with housework ever again. I doubt that defending our home from a drugged up burglar counts as housework. Well, how do we even know he's on drugs? We haven't examined the body yet, have we? Well, get me a scalpel and some forceps. This isn't a hospital. You get him a salad tongs and a pair of fish knives. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You're not really going to cut him open, are you? Relax, man. He's already dead. I cannot physically relax when there is a dead body decomposing on my kitchen table, let alone one that Patrick is going to cut up like a game of operation. All right, fine. You know what? I don't have to cut him open. I mean, if he's a drugged up lunatic, we have the greatest expert on the planet right here. Oh, another drugged up lunatic. Hey, give the man some space to work, all right? Dimitri is a chemistry genius as well as the closest thing to a toxicologist. Besides, Damage, you've handled dead bodies before, haven't you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Come on, could you imagine? <laughs> Gentlemen, as the doctor and I have concluded that this bloke has not ingested any narcotic or psychoactive substances that I know of in the last 24 hours. Christ, you are good! You just went full CSI there! 
Hang on, no. This guy does not look normal. He must be on something. Don't question my logic, mate. Mark said I'm full MFI. Uh, CSI. CSI. Well, what about those Korean battles that we took last night? You said so yourself. They were brand new. There might have been side effects that we wouldn't have been aware of. I don't like your tone, mate. The guy who sold them to me would never sell me something that would do this. In fact, I've got no reason not to trust him. I haven't even met the guy in person. So stop being paranoid. It can't be Dimitri's drugs, remember? We took loads of them last night. We didn't start eating people or turn to lobotomized albinos. Well, if it isn't drugs... Th what if he's a zombie? Oh, for God's sake, Patrick. Could you imagine it? A real zombie here in our kitchen. Here in our house. Patrick, I need you to be serious about this, okay? It's a crackhead or something. Look at him, Mark. That is not a crackhead. That is a zombie. I don't care how high you get. You don't try to suddenly eat people. I mean, Christ, we know crackheads. That's right. Tony on my street's a crackhead. He doesn't go around eating people. Exactly. He eats dog food. Okay, fine. Let's just say, for the sake of argument, that this is a zombie. And that it's the end of the world as we know it. Surely there'd be loads of zombies just walking around outside in the streets. You're right! Why didn't I figure this before? There must be loads of them out there. For all we know, there could be teams of evil flesh-eating creatures waiting to grab us. Yeah. Someone should go out and have a look. You're right. Somebody should go outside and look. Well, don't everybody run to the door at once. Good luck, Mark! Fuck you! A couple of hours ago we were living the party life. Now it's fucking judgement day out there. What are we gonna do? Okay guys, Apocalypse Survival 101. We can't stay in the house. If one of those zombies manage to get in, that means they can all get in. So I suggest we pack up some things, get past all these ones outside, and then find somewhere safe and secure to go. What about Steve's house? No! Why not? Look, my, my boss Steve has got this really big expensive house, thick heavy doors, wrought iron gates, bottom Who are you trying to kid, Patrick? The only reason you want to go to Steve's house is so you can shag Denise. Again. That is not true. Alright, fine. What about the Turners? No. The castles? You know, I was thinking somewhere a little bit more secure than the houses of the women that you want to fuck, Patrick. What I do and who I do in my spare time is none of your business! What about KFC? I've always had this idea of hogging it up in a uh, fast food restaurant in a time of crisis. I like KFC. Brilliant. Then it's settled. We're gonna fight them off for bargain buckets. Wait a minute. What about this derelict warehouse outside of town near where the train station is? Oh yeah, that would work. I spent some time there when I was on ketamine. I was there for two weeks straight. Very secure. 
All right then. But we still gotta get past these guys outside the house. Mark, I think that desperate times call for desperate measures. Let's get serious. Groovy. Don't worry, just imagine it's another round of undead crisis. Then make the best man win. <laughs> I know, it's amazing how ready we are for the zombie apocalypse. I know, you would have thought in such circumstances we'd be completely unprepared, but it's like it's all instinctive. I know, just immediately back there it was real bang smack. Yeah, yeah just get sick shit. right, yeah. Fuck Westy North. Fuck Westy North. Such an educational game. Absolutely. Mm. I love Katana. Yeah. Right. So, um, so where is this bloody warehouse anyway? Ah. Uh, I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, do you think that way, Patrick? I think so. Uh, not really. All right. Here's what we're going to do. One of us is going to have to climb up into these trees and get our bearings. That sounds like a plan. Yeah. Good luck, Mark. Whoa, 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 I'm not going to do it. What if I fall out of one of these trees and break something? You have nothing to worry about, Mark. In that eventuality, I promise you, We'll euthanize you so you don't slow us down. Mark, you know I'd do it. I really would. But I just don't want to. Yes. <laughs> I see a couple of really big warehouses right off on the horizon. Which one am I looking for? Well, most of them are probably locked up. Yeah, we want the one with a big red sign. Oh, you mean the one that says Tyson Limited? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Right, so the one that's overrun with zombies? Yep, that's the best one. Oh, bollocks. Bollocks. Ah! Bollocks. Okay, I'll bite. What was plan B? Plan B is we try and find some of our friends who might still be alive and shack up with them. What a bite. I'm not going to your boss's house. I promise I will not shag her again. You missed the point where I'm supposed to give a shit. And what's that supposed to mean? It means you've been shagging God, all I the thought you are supposed yeah, to be my best friend. Right. Where does it matter who I shag? What do you care We're anyway? I just thought it'd be a good place to hold up. I don't like men, okay? Just a why is that your plan? Will you shut the fuck up? Dimitri. Last night you mentioned that your friend Pete has got a brand new security system put in place. Could we maybe shack up with him? Well, maybe. I mean, he can be a bit of a fucking nutter at times. Well, it's got to be better than waiting around here in the woods just to get eaten. Yeah, come, come on, Dimitri. What do you say? All right. All right, mate. 
Can we crash your place? Zombies have invaded our house. Are you guys zombies? Um... No? Alright, come in. I think I'd sooner take my chances with the zombies. Oi. What? You miss spaceship twat. Dimitri says that you've got a new home security system? Yeah. I've got Whoa, this. Whoa! Fuck me! Where'd you get the gun from? My cousin. Don't worry, it doesn't bite. Yeah, but it does blow people's heads off! But how secure can you get? Any zombies come in? Brap, brap, brap. Will you please just put it away? Okay. Wanna play Russian roulette? No! Queen and her husband, 20. What have you got? 21. Ah, oh, shit. You're good at this, aren't you? Yeah, that's when prison usually helps. When were you in, Nick? Right. Remember? I've Some had a little look around the place. place. It's pretty small and there's not a lot of supplies. Yeah, and Pete's pretty nutty too, like Denver said. I've been thinking. You think we should, I don't know, get out of Dodge? I don't know. There might be stronger places we can haul up in, and it might be worth taking our chances. Well, you just give me and Demis the word, and we'll follow. What are you wearing? It's a hat, Patrick. I know it's a hat, Mark. Take it off, you look stupid. What the hell do you want to wear a hat for anyway? I'm sorry, it's just... Just what? Rick Grimes survived all four seasons. Oh, come on, Mark. Are you listening to yourself? We need to think rationally about this. You're going to survive, okay? I promise you, we all will. Oi, Patrick, could you be a mate? Go to the shed and get some booze wire? <laughs> You're fucking kidding me, I'm not going out there. Zombies, from a pop culture point of view, are a perfect analogy of a perversion of our greatest wish as humans. Immortality. Well, more like the satire on our money-obsessed, culture-blind consumerism. Why do you think so many films take place in a shopping mall? Now you're thinking outside the box. Zombies! <laughs> so you didn't decide to shut the door then? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Don't keep it loaded? Not in the house, I'm not a fucking moron. For God's sake, somebody just pick up a blood instrument and hit him with me! Oh, God, it is. All the people are getting the fuck on it, don't say I. Bye, bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Guys. Oh, shit. Mark! I told you he was a fucking nutter! Alright! Germany noted! Oi oh, guys! Where are you going? You forgot your stuff! Alright, I think we're clear. Yeah, come on. So what? Are we just gonna sit here or what? Yep. Just sit here and wait for all of this to blow over. 
Or for a bunch of zombies to break in here at any moment and kill us all. Exactly. Fuck this. Damers, where are you going? If this really is the end of the world, and I, for one, intend to spend my last days in pure fucking bliss. I, gentlemen, am going to get proper wanker. It is the end of the world. Fuck it, why not? <sighs> what? Mark Wahlberg was a good rat pie. Yeah. He, he was. No, no, no. He, he was. That, but that, that's common knowledge. That's how he started off. In the 90s, he, he was in a hip hop group called uh, Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Shut the fuck. No, you're making. I'm not. That. I'm not. You're you in the air there, Bunch. No, yeah, no, you're no. thinking of Cartoon Network. No, yeah, no, no, I'm not. I'm not. Ah, ah, right. You, you know that song, Good Vibrations. Oh, yeah, the Beach Boys. No, no, no. no. Oh, wait, no, I know. It's on my, my 80s mix uh, CD. It's like. No, Sasha. Good vibration. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that was him. That was Marky. That was Mark Wahlberg. Oh, of course. That was. That was freaking Mark Walrusberg and the funky, and the, hair bear bunch. the funky yeah, funk hair bear bunch. bunch. Yeah, that is mental. We've been outside all day fighting fucking vampires, and that is the weirdest thing I've heard all day. I know, but it's true. You can look it up. That's you know, mental. Look it up. It, it's that's it's really... so weird. Oh, oh, wait, Mark. I just, I just remembered, Mark, what you just said there. Um. Yeah, I think I accidentally destroyed your early CD. What? Yeah. Oh my god, that's no, my favourite sh- CD. Shh, sh- sh- no, sh- what, what it was, you know, you know when I asked her to use to use your car. Yeah, it's uh, broken. It doesn't work. Bro- yeah, exactly. Anymore. And I had to run to the bus. I think when I was running, I might have crushed it under my foot. Oh my god, that's my favourite CD no, in the world. Sh- sh- what did you do? Sh- 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 it's alright. It's alright. <gasps> Oh, 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 oh. Where's my penguin? I can get you another one. Penguin! <sighs> Sorry, do you mind if you squeeze over a bit? Do you mind? Hey, listen, there's zombies roaming around out there. I don't want to sleep by myself, but... Ah, oh. oh, thanks, mate. Can I tell you something? Yeah, sure. This is all a bit unnerving. I mean, it was cool at first, but no, it's... Well, you know. Hey, don't worry about it. Like you said earlier, we'll get through this. We'll be fine. I go to sleep. Oh. Ugh. Go on for more in there. Don't go on a blanket. Ah, Now this is really nice. Us free birds sleeping together in the middle of the apocalypse. I love you guys so much. Would you like a cup of tea? 
Mark, what's going on? Uh, Patrick, Dimitri, meet the current occupiers of this house. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Refiliac, PhD. But you can call me what my friends call me. Nick. Dr. Nick Refiliac. Well, it's better than being called Peter File, I guess. And this is my assistant. You know, I'm just going to throw this out there for you, but after this terrible crisis has been averted, it's going to be up to us to repopulate the planet. Um, I, I'm, I'm sorry, um, my English is not so good. Um, fuck off, I would rather die. Okay then. There will be no repopulating! The outbreak is localised. Localised? Yeah, it means the zombies haven't broken the borders of the time yet. I know what it means. We have been desperately trying to find an antidote to repel this undead nightmare before it spreads. Big and covered with that! That was recovered from some of the undead. Hey, that stuff looks really familiar. Kind of like the bath salts we took the other night. After that, or Imodium. Imodium? Yeah, you know, medicine for diarrhea. And why would it be medicine for diarrhea? You see, Imodium pretty much rehydrates a person after they've had a nice long shit. I take it every now and again to relieve hangovers. I sold some to a mate of mine the other night. Dimitri, is it possible that you got the bags mixed up and gave your mate the North Korean bath salts and us the Imodium? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of think of it now. That sounds like a pretty good explanation. And you didn't think to tell us this earlier because... You never asked. How many years did you spend pissing on the toilet seat before someone asked you to put it up? Seven. So, this entire time, these silly, innocent people have been wandering around town eating each other, not because of some sort of zombified virus, but because they're completely off their heads on North Korean bath salts! And we have spent the entire weekend bashing their brains in, and all they've been is victims of your cock-up! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're making it sound as if it's my fault. What the hell are you three stunners babbling about? We're thinking the zombies might actually just be real people, except they're really, really high on North Korean bath salts. Oh! <laughs> Well, that makes so much more sense. Oh, we can fix that, no problem. Seriously? Mm, yeah. In Deutschland, we use bath salts recreationally all the time. Now, if you bring back one of them alive, we will be able to synthesize an antidote and expose it to the air using one of our scientific devices. Should I even ask why you have a device that can tamper with the air? Uh, I would prefer it if I did not tell you that. Um, now hurry! Quick! We don't have much time! Wait, 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 wait. Aren't you gonna come help us? No! I must stay here! But the zombies are still out there! I mean, they could attack us or something. Why do you have to stay here? Because I'm fucking scared! I have too much to live for! And we don't. You're young. There's too many young people nowadays. Now, as we say into Fatherland, GET THE FUCK OUT OF MY HOUSE! You'll see. And two weeks again for a line. She has a hell of a punch, doesn't she? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, don't worry, Mark. Patrick may be ashamed of your pointless flirting vibe, Mark. I'm your pal. Thanks. Besides, Patrick was always the ladies' man. Mr. I promise I won't shag my boss's wife. Actually, speaking of which, how come Patrick got to stay at the house whilst we had to go off hunting for these bastards? Well, apparently he and Dr. Nick Rafiliak got on like a house on fire. Certainly had a lot in common. Can't imagine what. Hmm. Jesus, I can't believe this. Yesterday, left, right and centre, we were bumping into these zombies all over the place. And the one time we actually need one, nothing. Where are they? That's a kill them all. Do you think we'll go to prison for this? 
Maybe. Oi! Pete? Hi, Pete. Why did you fucking lag it? I've been chasing zombies all day on my own. <sighs> Piss off. Well, you seem to have done a bang-up job by yourself. You! I want my fucking gun back. Sorry, it's our gun now. I wasn't asking your permission. Where do people in this country keep getting guns from? All right, let's make a deal. You give us a zombie, and we'll give it a gun. Oh yeah, nice plan, Dimitri. Then he'll just shoot us both in the face and take the zombie anyway. I swear on my mother's life, I will not shoot you. Well, maybe once in the leg. I mean, after all, you did steal my gun. Hey, wait a minute. If you were going to shoot us and take this pistol back, you would have done it already. Unless there's no ammo in that shotgun. Oh. Fuck. Ah! What do you know, you bastard? Ah! Oh, come on! You utter fucking wanker. I wasn't going to shoot you. What the hell did you shoot him for? I was just trying to scare him. Well, he's fucking scared now. Look, find that zombie and get him back to the house, okay? He's not gonna shoot me. Oh, God. You just shot him in the bloody shoulder. He is gonna fucking crucify you. Are you really? Yep. Oh, well. You certainly can't blame me for doing this then, can what? you? What? Oh, fuck! Come on! And don't tell Patrick. Ah! Where the fuck are you? Wherever you are, come out and show yourself, you fucking bastard! Great. What do we do now? I'm thinking! That zombie better not have gotten far. I think he's gone. Oh, hello! Must say, go and enjoy this. Oh, uh, come on, mate. We went to the same school. Don't be a cunt. Sorry, mate. Got no choice. Actually, you do have a choice. Just put the gun down and go home. We know how to fix the zombie apocalypse, and we can't do that when you've shot us. Yeah, but you will be dead. There is that. Oh, there he is. Okay, crisis averted. Let's get this zombie back to the house. Oh, come on, let me. You're not of sound mind, are you? Well, that bloke was going to bloody shoot us. has been completely dispersed throughout the neighbourhood. The effects would have been reversed completely. Save for the ones who are already dead, of course. Gentlemen, I would like to tell you it has been a pleasure. But unfortunately, Mother told me not to tell lies. Undead crisis again. Oh, me neither. At least not for another week. What is life?
Listen, Dimitri, do you want anything, or...? <laughs> oh, for <laughs> fuck's sake! No! <laughs> <laughs>